Hey everybody, I'm Adam here from Bell Lost Souls and I'm back once again to bring you another quick unboxing. Today we have the new Death Guard Miasmic Malignifier. I hope I'm saying that right. I think I am. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's the new Death Guard terrain piece. Helps spread contagion and corruption uh, for the Death Guard. Kind of penalizes your opponents for getting within, I believe, nine inches of this one thanks to its special rules. We're not here to cover the rules though, we're here to cover the model. So let's go ahead and take a look in the box. All right, plastic wrap is off. Let's do this. All right, this is a big box. Let's see how many sprues this bad boy is. Uh, looks like two big sprues. Oh, the base is actually uh, textured and already built. I'm gonna move this box. Base is already a part of that. And then of course the instructions, we'll move these over here. Uh, full color, Look, it's pretty simple to go through. Uh, not a whole lot of shock there. Um, it does have stats. Uh, you, you can blow this up, by the way. Uh, it looks like it's got 12 wounds, so you may actually want to do that. Uh, let's see here. It's got a ballistic skill of 6, uh, which is okay. Oh, it's got a bombard attack, too. Oh, that's neat. A little, uh, yeah, 6-inch range, 2d6, strength 4. Okay, so it's probably just spewing crap, literally. Uh, but yeah, there's some stats on there. Has a three-up save. There you go. Okay, let's take a look at these sprues. There are two of them. We're gonna look at this one first. This looks like the uh, pipe stacks uh, for the the miniature here, or maybe a little side. Yeah, this is the little side one that goes, and then we have some extra pipes that go with it. This looks like the stack that goes on top of the miniature proper. And then we have a little smoke stacks. There's three different ones, quite fitting for Nurgle. Uh, multiples of three kind of their thing so yeah cool sprues uh it's it's also looks pretty hollow so some of you crazy modelers out there want to get get really uh really hype you know do some led stuff i'm sure you could do it with this model it, it looks like it would uh be a perfect fit for that matter of fact this uh this this bit right here which is this thing is just a big empty hollow thing i'm pretty sure the base, you could uh, rig up some battery in there, do some crazy LED things. So, could be fun. Maybe put some dry ice in there and have it bubble all game. I don't know. Whatever. I, I wouldn't do it, but I'm lazy. So, there you go. Uh, moving on. Here's the, the, I guess we'll call this one the main sprue, the main body. This part is going to be your, your main base and then this double stack of boilers. I don't know if this thing is supposed to be like a still or something a plague still you know um i've never used a copper pot still um they seem pretty fun though but uh yeah I've, i can just picture this thing it's got the little uh furnace feature up front which again this thing's hollow so i don't know if you wanted to rig that up to be uh it looks like this bit just glues on there so i guess yeah if you wanted to do something crazy where you're like you built a hinge for it Hey, I'm not going to stop you. That'd be really cool. And then you could put some smoke coming out of there with, with dry ice or something, LEDs. I don't know, man. This, But this seems like a cool uh, uh, terrain piece to try to play around with some of those things. I don't know how the dry ice would react with the uh, plastic in terms of getting it cold, though. I'm not a scientist. I, I'm pretty sure you'd be okay, but I don't know. You might break your miniature or ruin the paint job. I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe just stick to LEDs is my point. But yeah, really cool model, and um, I would know because I've actually built it. Uh, not even gonna pretend that we were gonna edit that. So, boom, there we go. I built it. I did leave off the uh, the bell chains. Um, they you don't have to actually glue them on there. They they can free hang. I can show you the bits real fast. Uh, if you see here, you got the little uh, hook. You can literally just clamp them in there. I didn't do it for the video so that I could do this shot right here which is to rotate it around. And you can see here, it's quite quite cool. The back of the miniature, this is just a little tube. Uh, we'll go over this one in a second, but the back of it has these like, the pipes coming out of it. There's a lot of detail going on back there. Uh, this looks disgusting in all the cool, nerdly kind of ways that that implies. So uh, if you are a Death Guard fan, if you are playing Nurgle in general, probably Death Guard though, because this affects 
whatever. The point is, <laughs> this is a really cool terrain piece. Uh, I really like the detail work on it. I think it was it took me maybe an hour total to build it, um, maybe a little bit less. I was cleaning it as I was going though, so if you just wanted to slap it together, you could do it pretty fast. But uh, really cool stuff, neat miniature. I didn't realize it had these crazy blade things coming off of it, but that was a nice touch. Um, but yeah, I like this as a terrain piece. It blocks line of sight pretty well. You know, you could have a couple of dudes hiding back there or hiding, you know, in front of it or behind it or whatever. Uh, you can't really shoot through it, so that's cool. And then uh, this is the little uh, extra bits. I ended up uh, gluing this pipe to this section here. Um, it was an option. I'll show you here. So you can do that. You could leave them separate. You could have that thing just freestanding. I figured it'd be easy to lose that way. Um, so I didn't want to do that. <laughs> so I glued it and I have this nice little, um, wait a minute, that looks weird. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, you could totally rig up some lights in there at the battery uh, if you wanted to have a, a light coming out the top. I think that'd be really cool. Um, you could even, if you wanted to get really crazy, you could hollow this part out, cut that part out, and then, um, I don't know. I guess it wouldn't show up on the board or anything, but you could run wires to there or something. I don't know. You guys get crazy with it. I like this miniature. I like. I think it'd be a cool addition. We have a whole Death Guard army here at Bowles. Um, I think this is going to get painted up and added to that. At least it should. Um, but I like it. It's a cool, cool kit. Uh, that, of course, is all I got for the uh, Miasmic mal mal Malignifier. Malignifier. Um, so, yeah. There you have it. I'm Adam here from Bowles. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.